Oh, when former Detroit Mayor Dave Ming left office back in 2013, he wasn't done trying to rebuild the city he loved so much. So he put his focus onto the city's young people, especially young black men. Our Paula Tutman shows you how Bing is working to break down stereotypes and build up Detroit's leaders of tomorrow. There is no lack of mentorship programs in the city of Detroit, but Dave Bing had a different model. He wanted to rebuild the image of black men to themselves by changing what they have been told is the stereotype. Pants hanging down, that's number one. Two, um, he's probably got a gun in his clutch. Do you believe that? That's not true. He started an organization, Bing Youth Institute, looked for young men who were middle of the road. We kind of think that those kids, A and B students, they're going to be okay. But those that are on the borderline, those that are, say, D and C students, where we think we've got a chance um, to change their lives. He found black businessmen to commit to long-term mentoring and bingo. Boys inspired through nurturing growth and opportunities, a success story was born. And they bring them in and teach them all about manhood and focus and structure of what it means to be a man in the real world. His team and the mentors meet weekly, have intensive interaction, and these young men have been gifted with love, time, guidance, privilege, and opportunity. So that they could get the kind of exposure that what we think is the norm. My dad didn't graduate high school, so um, this whole journey, like going past this whole ninth, ninth grade stage, is a little different. For the last four years, more than 100 young men are being groomed for success. When they travel the country on college tours, they go by plane. They eat at five-star restaurants, stay at plush hotels. Each young man has been fitted for custom suits. They've kicked their feet up in the offices of important men. They've experienced success, and when they taste success, they develop an appetite for success. Last night was graduation. Of the 17 of the 18 seniors, all are college or trade school bound. Out of the 18, only three of them thought that they were college material. Now we have 18 that are college material. Just because he becomes an older man, I'm always going to be there with him. He's always going to be a part, he's become part of my family. Not only did they graduate from bingo, they received their custom threads but also received a custom-made luxury watch so they can always see with pride what time it really is. Stereotype means that you have to be a college graduate, you have to have a high school diploma, college degree, you have to be a family man, not only a family man, but a man of your word, and also beyond a man of your word, you have to be a man that's contributing to your community and your society. That's the new black man. So what's also interesting about this is just because they graduated last night doesn't mean their mentoring is over, not by far. Perhaps they won't meet weekly, but certainly monthly or as needed. And when they graduate, Karen, they're being encouraged to come back to the city of Detroit to start their careers and their businesses so that not only do they help build the city, but they can become mentors to the new generation of Detroit young men. This program is amazing. I like what that young man said at the end of your piece, men contributing back to their own communities. That's exactly what we all need. And what a great program. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate it. You're welcome.